What's up, ninjas? It's Thirsty Thursday, and the rain is coming. It's right around the corner, but it's not here yet. They said it was supposed to rain all day, and it's now saying it's supposed to be here around 3, 4 o'clock, which is later this afternoon, which we totally could have worked today, you know? Oh, well. It is what it is. What can you do, right? The weather people. But... As you've seen by now, I was back at the r, r Tire Express getting a rotation. You're supposed to rotate your tires every 3,000 miles, so that's what I'm doing. It is free of service. Well, it's included in the price, I'm sure, of uh, when you purchase the tires from them. <clears throat> but, you know, free balance, free alignment, free rotations really, really um, helps out. But I, because I think, you know, all that stuff is really expensive if you were to try to do it you know, just randomly somewhere. <clears throat> All right, so one of the things that Tiny has developed was a, a vibration in the steering wheel. And it was fine when I first got to tires, but then like maybe 2,000 miles into it or so, it started to get a, a vibration, like the steering wheel was just vibrating. And so I didn't really have the time, nor did it, was it like urgent, issue because I knew the rotation was coming up so I was going to bring that to their attention and I did and they checked it out and the weights were just off basically I popped a weight or something I don't know if I lost a weight or it got moved so they rebalanced they put it back on and it actually is doing perfectly fine right now which is great so I knew it was nothing urgent or emergency, but I knew that it was something I wanted to bring to their attention when we do the rotating. Real cool people there, by the way, and uh, really, really, really nice environment. I, I really like it. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm headed to grab a bite to eat first and foremost. I haven't eaten nothing and it's 12.30. So I'm gonna just grab something real quick on the go. And then the highlight of this video, of course, I am going to show you guys what I purchased. It's a new purchase for this year, which the year is almost over. Uh, and obviously this is something that I'm not gonna use this year because we only have a couple days left, but it is for next year and from here on out. And the only reason I made this decision to purchase this, well, let's get into all that when I show you what it is, why I decided that. And then keep in mind, there's two more things that are coming. One, you guys already know about, it's the shed. Uh, that'll be sometime middle of uh, January. They are building me one because I uh, requested a couple of extra additions changes uh, but other than that then there's another one that I haven't told you about but I'll just wait to show you that around the time frame when the shed comes in as well so all right let's go see what it is oh new equipment I'm always excited little new equipment <laughs> see you ninjas site one wonder what we could be doing here wonder Let's go inside and get this bad boy loaded. As you can see, I got my trailer with me, but I didn't, I don't have any mowers. It's empty. There's no need for it. We're not working today. All right, ninjas, we're home, back home. Figured I'd go ahead and show you the new equipment that was purchased. Ninjas, the all new 2018 stand on spreader. This is by Lesco. It has got a capacity of 125 pounds. Let's go ahead and shut it off so we can go over a few things. Just push up a button. Okay, so it is the Stand on spreader by Lesco, 125 pound capacity in the bucket. It is really, really cool how it handles and maneuvers because the front is independent from the rear. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> and it is very easy to use. Uh, got a Honda engine, it is the 160 with an overhead cam, so GCV. I think it's like, it's really not super powerful. I'm gonna step over here just for a second, guys. It's starting, the rain's starting to come down. So I wanted to definitely try to get this out of the way before it uh, starts to pour, because it's it's definitely heading this way. 
Oh, so far, I mean, I haven't tried it or anything yet, but the downfall is it is a uh, pull start instead of a key start, which is fine. Again, this is one of those types of machines, Ninjas, that you are going to see me not use throughout the year, right? I mean, you only use it once or twice uh, in the year, you know, fall and then in the spring. But I think it's also going to be a game changer and it's going to really save a lot of time. Are we still going to use the push spreaders? Of course, because you can't put this machine in those little corners, spots, possibly even a backyard, right? But for the open areas, the open uh, fields, it's going to be a game changer and a time saver. And that's the ultimate reason of why I purchased it. The rain is coming down pretty hard. I do want to show you the controls up close. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pull it right here where it's not raining. This is where you stand right here, just like a stand on mower. Very similar. It is the, like I said, pull start. So it's right here. Not a big deal. And this engine actually turns over real easy as of right now, at least. Uh, forward. This one is just for reverse, the forward and reverse. Sorry. So this one is just for the reverse. So you basically just squeeze it and it'll back up. You squeeze this one and it'll go forward. You do have a cruise control type switch here. So if you want to like set it up right, sorry, right there, you see what I'm saying? It'll lock it in at that speed. But if you want to go full speed, you just push it out of the way and it'll go all the way. All right. Um, this is your closed and open as far as your cedar goes, spreader. So if you look, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And if you look in here while I open it, see, now you're wondering, but Nick, why is there only two holes opening? Well, there's always two holes to begin with, ninjas. Sassy, it's nasty. And then if you feel like you wanna throw more seed out. Yeah, this is not really going well. Then there is a third hole I know Sassy's gonna get excited about this when you finds out that there's actually three holes. There's a third hole that you push, you keep it closed and then you push down or towards you, I guess, and it would open it. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and there it is, it opens. So you've got two holes and a third one if you really need the additional seed to be thrown out, okay? Then, you have the side deflector right here, so it's down now. You can have it open or up, up, open, whatever. But if you don't want to throw any on the side, because there could be cars, there could be a building, well, whatever, then you push it down, you push it down, and then this plastic thing right here will come down, and basically what it does, it'll just block that seed from going to the side, and all of it will go up here to the front. Now, this machine does have some grease points, of course, on your axles, so that's something to be greased every time the oil change is done. Very similar to the mowers, ninjas, the oil change, first oil change is roughly going to be between 5 to 10 hours, give or take, and then it's every 50 hours, so very, very similar to any mower, really, any brand mower. Uh, greasing, like I said, you do that roughly every time you change the oil. The only downfall of this machine so far is the oil change. And if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, here's the oil. Of course, you know, you unscrew it and it'll also give you an indicator of how much is in there. But how in the world do you get that old oil out of there? You want to know? Okay, this is how. They actually, even in the manual, it states for you to literally tip over this part, right, like that, tip it over sideways and pour the oil out. I was like, what the heck? So I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, it is, it is light, don't get me wrong. I mean, look at that, with one hand, I can literally flip the whole machine over. So the engine is not heavy at all. It is a small engine, which, why would you need a big engine for just a spreader? But what, why couldn't they put a bolt? So the good thing is I told the uh, gentleman at site one, I actually have that suction, oil suction cup, whatever you want to call it, pump, uh, suction pump cup. What the heck? 
and I'm gonna use the smaller to stick it down in stick it in there and then pump it out so i'm glad i have that and hopefully that'll work because that's my plan other than that i really absolutely love this thing i have come to find out unloading it and take you know driving it around a little bit super easy to pop wheelies <laughs> if you have it in full throttle okay this is your choke right here all right right there you see and then once you got the engine running and then, you know, it's warmed up, you literally just set to full throttle or you can adjust it, turn it down, but you don't have a cable or anything. This is, this is it. And that's it. It's very simple. I was also surprised they don't have any kind of a cover up here just when it rains or anything like that. So maybe that's something I can purchase. Additionally, I didn't even ask. Maybe not. It doesn't really matter, but you know, if it happens to, uh, get caught in the rain and the next day it's wet and I have to use it I would literally just have to take a rag and dry it off, but that's like super minor stuff It's not a big deal other than that guys. Like I said, it is independent. So the engine is independent from the actual Box itself. So it really it turns very easy So enough of that <laughs> give you a little basics of it Unfortunately, I don't think you guys are gonna see me get to use this thing until spring. So that sucks I may just want to uh, use it in my front yard a little bit maybe another day or something just to give it an idea throw some seed in there or something but besides that I uh, really this is just going to be in the fall and in the spring so you're probably wondering why did I purchase this one and why didn't I purchase the fully expensive one that you can do you know seed fertilizer you know spreader and then also the chemicals, the sprayers. Well, guys, I'm not in the sprayer business. I'm not in the whole fertilizer, uh, chemical fertilizer or liquid fertilizer, so to say. I'm not in the liquid fertilizer business. My focus was, and my only interest was to get it for spreading seed and fertilizer and lime as far as pellets and seed go. So there you have it. That's it. That's the answer to that. Uh, why I chose this one. It is so light. I could literally tip the whole thing. I don't like the oil change situation. So hopefully the Suction pump that I have will solve that also like this is the disconnect right here for your transmission So you just pull it out and you can literally just and look at that It's awesome. All right, and then when you're ready to use it you just push it back in and keep in mind guys I definitely want to support stuff that is made in America. Uh, definitely want to support the American uh, companies or American made as much as possible. I'm not saying everything probably is American. We, we all know that. But in general speaking, anytime you have something that's USA, I am a deep, deep supporter and believer that it is important to support stuff that is made here or at least majority of it okay we know obviously the honda engine is not but the metal probably is and so this is helping somebody with a job same thing why i got ford same thing why i got right standards okay i'm not saying everything is made in this country like 100 percent of it but the majority of it i'm sure is why did i purchase a cedar well here's why the aerator paid off literally within two three months and I had a feeling that it would, but I never want to give myself too much credit on that, even though I knew I had the clientele. So I wanted to just wait and see. So we were able to go through this fall aeration and seeding with the push spreaders, which is what we've been doing for years. Uh, and those push spreaders, push spreaders are perfectly fine. I think the brand is Shindawa. Not sure exact model number, but, and they do great. I have to grease them as well. I haven't greased them uh, at all uh, since uh, last spring. So I need to grease them. But other than that, they work fine. And we're always going to have to use those. Those are going to have to be used because there's areas this will not fit. So, but that's why I purchased it because the aerator paid off. It paid off in two, three months and some. So I was able to pay the machine off and actually profit off of it, which is phenomenal. I'm very, very uh, thankful for that and, and humbled about it. But that is one of the reasons why I made the decision and pull the gun so to say to purchasing this one this is going to pay off real quickly as soon as the spring comes around because it's nowhere near as expensive as the aerator so 
it's already going to pay for itself literally once uh, March, April hits. But other than that, tax season as well. So there was no reason for me to sit on some money. I'd rather just go ahead and invest it in my business and also get that credit and not have to. You're still going to have to pay the IRS. Believe that. Remember. But not as much and i have something to show for so remember the shed is coming up middle of january roughly and then there's one more thing that they're going to deliver Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie to you ninjas. I, you probably have seen it in my face, but that scared the living crap out of me. I didn't know it was actually gonna pop a willy to the point that it did. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thirsty Thursday, but tomorrow's a freaky Friday. We'll see what we can get into tomorrow. Peace.